the A natural minor scale, one octave this time, starting with root note on the A string, which is the fifth string. That is your A string. So your one octave on A natural minor should sound like this. And if you want to play it an octave higher, we'd have something like this. Fret number 12 is an octave higher. Same scale, also A natural minor root on the A string. Down here you can hear the sound. Now I'm going to first teach it to you from fret number 12 because I want to be able to move the scale. So I'm going to call out the fret numbers as we play from the 12th fret on your 5th string. This note is A and I'm starting with my first finger. Notice the fingers are numbered and here we go. Fret 12, 14, 15. On to the next string 12, 14, 15. On to the next string 12, 15. And then backwards, 14, 12, 15, 12, and so on till the beginning. Now, very important, I hope you alternate your picking strokes. So, what's my picking direction here? Down, up, down, up, down, up. In the previous video, the block position in two octaves, we went on a bit about the alternative strokes. There is a thing called economy picking. We don't want to use that in this application. It's also a good technique, but for this application, please alternate the strokes. You see it quite nicely from here. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And small strokes as well. So your pick mustn't go. Way too much movement. Way too much movement means you could strike the wrong string. So nice and easy. Now just to finish off of here, we want to have a look at your open position for those who would like to play open because it's also a very important nice little riffs like it on the open string. So you get Okay, and we're going to call it up open fifth, fret two, fret three, onto the open fourth string, open two, three, and then open two. So one time slowly. Now, back to the fret number 12. I want you to practice the scales two ways. The one is ascending, descending. is descending ascending and the reason for that is normally when we learn the scale we normally always work from the lower note up to the higher note and we very seldom start at the higher and work down we normally first go from the low to the high and then back so to get your your finger control your pick control your sequences nice and fluent I'd like you to practice go up the scale, down the scale, and then once you've done that, down the scale and up the scale. Okay. Now, very important as well, we've done A natural minor. So you say to me, but Ian, I want to play in the key of F sharp natural minor because my song's in that key of A, for example. F sharp is at fret 9. So I don't learn a new scale like on piano with black and white notes. All I do is take the scale and play it from fret, fret number 9. That's where F sharp is. And backwards. And whatever key I need, C minor, down to fret number three, same thing. So what's important to realize over here is that the cool thing about scales for guitars is you learn one shape and that shape moves up and down the guitar fret, giving you all 12 keys. So your finger sequence stays the same, your um, Shape stays the same, your picking sequence stays the same, unlike piano where you have to sort of readjust and sort of compensate for the black notes because of the key and, and your intervals, which we're not going to discuss now. Okay, that's pretty much your um, A minor over one octave, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much.